There's been a lot of talk, there's been a lot of speculation around the world and also the YouTube community as to who has the best burritos, tacos, bowls, and chips. Is it the Colorado-based phenom Chipotle, which is known for their healthy Mexican dishes, but also in some cases allegedly known for getting people diarrhea? The runs. You know, when you think you got a fart, but it's not farty sh just for the record, I've never had diarrhea while eating at Chipotle. Just saying. Or is it the famous Mexican East restaurant Qdoba, which was actually owned by Jack in the Box back in 2003. Didn't know that. But Qdoba has also had their fair share of sickness as well. Typhoid disease, salmonella, not washing your damn hands. No need to worry, they haven't had a breakout in quite some time, so. Yeah, just break yourself. It's okay. It's all right. It's Chipotle versus Qdoba. Let's get it. First on the list, we're gonna try everyone's favorite queso. All right, so on my right, we got the queso from Chipotle, also known as the queso blanca, which there's been a lot of speculation about that. People say it's good, people say it's bad. I'm here to give you the real today, all right? But on my left, you got the queso from Qdoba, which is the regular queso. The lady at the front told me I should get regular instead of the Diablo, I think it is, so that's why I got that. Let's compare the two. Let's start with the left first, shall we? Oh, ugh. All right, here we go. Let's start the queso blanca. This is probably the thickest Alfredo vibing sauce that I've ever had in my life. I don't taste the onions. I don't taste the tomatoes. I don't taste the garlic. I don't taste the peppers. All I taste is the cheese, man. Now the sauce does stick to the chip. It is pretty thick, but it's just too damn cheesy for me. Can't deal with it. Now Qdoba's queso, I can literally taste everything. It's thick. It sticks to the chip. I can taste the peppers. Very flavorful. Qdoba's queso is way better than Chipotle's queso. It's not even close. So with Chipotle's queso, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a three. The Blanco. And I'm gonna go ahead and get Qdoba's queso. I'm gonna get that at an eight, man. That was just, that was just banging. Now next we got these tacos. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. These motherfuckers look good, man. Let me show you. So we got the Qdoba tacos that gave me three with these two cups to the side holding together, which is just lame as hell. For $8.65. And then Chipotle gave me this nice, beautiful, big bowl. It looks like three tacos in there with a bunch of toppings, which just looks beautiful, but the same price of $8.65. So we're going to go ahead and try Chipotle first, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. It's all right now. This is good. Go ahead and try Qdoba's good old taco. Mm. Hmm. This is an easy one. So let me be completely honest with you. Qdoba's tacos are 100% trash. I mean, the meat is trash. The toppings are trash. They didn't give me enough of anything. They basically just gave me a freaking kid's meal, man. I mean, I'm a grown ass man, play. Now, Chipotle is a grown ass meal. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, they filled these tacos and toppings up to the brim. Now, the tacos was a bit soggy. I will admit that. The meat was good. It was seasoned. The corn was good. The tomatoes was good. I basically got my money's worth messing with Chipotle. But when it came, to freaking Qdoba, like I said before, I paid $8.65 for a freaking kid's meal with tacos, man. I ain't feeling it. So with Chipotle, I will get them an eight, you know what I'm saying, because them tacos were a little bit soggy. But Qdoba, bro, you getting a three. Can't deal with it. Oh yeah, it's definitely quesadilla time, y'all. We got the quesadilla from Qdoba, which is big as hell. We got the beans, we got the beef, we got the onion, we got the tomatoes for $8.95. Then we got the quesadilla from Chipotle. It looks really nice. Comes in this little sexy box with the corn, the tomatoes, and the sour cream for $8.95. Let's try Chipotle first, shall we? It's good. It's hot. Let's go ahead and try Qdoba. It's like a sound, huh? This is a hard one. They both good as hell. So Qdoba, welcome to the review. I'm glad you showed up. I'm glad you're showing out right now. I thought the quesadillas from Qdoba was going to be trash because it simply didn't look good. It looked sloppy. But everything on this quesadilla was pretty good. It was very flavorful. The beans brought out a nice taste to it. The ground beef was seasoned. Everything was just perfect, okay? Now when it comes to Chipotle, eh. Chipotle's quesadilla was 100% overcooked. I mean, it was too damn chewy. I thought for a second I was chewing chewing gum, but I forgot it was a quesadilla, all right? Too chewy, way hard. Burnt, couldn't really taste what's in the inside. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a dub for me. Qdoba's quesadilla, I'm gonna go ahead and get him a nine, all right? Chipotle, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get us a three because uh, yeah, no. 
Am I the only one that did not know that Chipotle has salads? Probably not because I haven't ate there in a while. But anyway, we got the Qdoba salad bowl with the tortilla chips, the peppers, the onions, the tomatoes, the corn, the pork. We got it all. Braised pork, by the way, for $9.75. And then we have the Chipotle bowl, which has the corn, the tomatoes, the cornitas, the onions, the lettuce. We got it all down packed for $8.65. Oh, I can't wait to try this shit right now. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's try Qdoba. Mm. Woo! So when it comes to Qdoba salad, I'm just not really feeling it. Yeah, it's pretty cool that you can get the tortilla strips on the salad, but it doesn't quite give me the salad vibe. You understand what I'm saying? The only thing that tastes fresh on this salad is the peppers and the onions and the corn and tomatoes. The pork tastes like it's been sitting out for a while. Nah, I can't deal with it. But Chipotle, I gotta give it to you. The, everything on this bowl tastes fresh. I mean, from the corn down to the carnitas to the lettuce, everything looks fresh. The presentation is beautiful. Everything about this bowl is just heaven sent. So Qdoba salad, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a... I gotta give you a three for this, because this is bull And Chipotle, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a nine, man, because damn, you, you, woo. This is good. Woo! I am full, y'all. But let's get to the bowls. We have Qdoba's Chulo Chicken Bowl, which looks really good with the onions, the peppers, the tomatoes, the corn, and that is $9.75. But then we have Chipotle's Chicken Bowl. They got the corn, the sour cream, the lettuce, the tomatoes, and that was $8.10. What a price difference. Chipotle going in. Oh my God! All right, your turn to show up and show off. This is another close one, y'all. The chicken on the Qdoba bowl is straight slap. It's a little spicy, it's grilled, it's flavorful, but that's literally it. Yeah, that's it. Nothing on this bowl really stands out as fresh to me, all right? The rice was okay. The peppers, the corn, the tomatoes, the onions, all that was just, that was just thrown on the grill and just tossed. Want no season put on there or not? Chipotle, on the other hand, I mean, everything just tastes beautiful. And I'm not even a Chipotle fan, but this is probably the best experience I've had at Chipotle. I mean, everything on this bowl looks like it's been freshly picked out of a freaking garden, yo. The meat was seasoned, the corn was good, the sour cream added a nice, great taste. They didn't overload my bowl with a bunch of lettuce. I mean, everything in this bowl was just, it was just a bowl sent from God, okay? Qdoba, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a five on that. Cause you, you, you know better. Chipotle, you know better and you do better. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a nine on that because God almighty, Jesus Christ. We got the Battle of the Impossible Bowls. So we got the Qdoba Impossible Bowl plant-based for $10.45. And then we got Chipotle's new plant-based chorizo bowl for $11.60. Chipotle. You don't make no damn sense. You know you better bring because it's slowly slipping away from y'all. Nope. So the Qdoba bowl, I feel like it could have been a little bit better. I feel like it could have been better if they didn't give me so much freaking rice and beans. I mean, they didn't give me any meat, y'all. They just literally showered my bowl with everything but that impossible plant-based meat. I gotta dock your pay for that. But if I'm grading the meat, I mean, the meat was okay. Now come over here to Chipotle. Chipotle gave me too much meat, you know what I'm saying? And you can never have too much meat. I mean, it's meat at the bottom, meat on the top, everything tastes fresh, the guacamole on top basically just sealed the deal. And I didn't even ask for guacamole. I guess they knew what was best for me, all right? All the ingredients taste fresh, it was filled to the top. Everything about this bowl was really good. So if I got a grade Qdoba, I'm gonna go ahead and give Qdoba, I'm gonna give them a seven because the meat was okay, they just didn't give me enough of it. But Chipotle, I gotta give them a nine, man, because damn! Finally at the end, ladies and gentlemen, the last contestants, which are the burrito. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, we got a fat one. This is Qdoba's burrito brisket, nice and fat for $9.95. But then we have Chipotle's burrito, which is even longer and even fatter and even juicier for $10.50. Qdoba, where you at? Oh. Mm. Chipotle. This is simply no comparison. All right, so I really wanted to like this burrito, and I do a little bit. See, here's the problem with this burrito. This burrito is full, nice and thick. It's not as thick as Chipotle's burrito, but it is thick. The brisket on here just threw everything off. 
The brisket has clearly been sitting in the pot for a couple of days. It's not fresh, it's nasty, it's just disgusting. When it comes to the other toppings, the other toppings was pretty good, but the main thing, the brisket was just, it was nasty as hell, all right? But that's nothing new. There's nothing I've tasted that's been fresh thus far. The Polish burrito is just, it's way thicker, it's longer, juicier. It just, oh, it just, everything just tastes just so much better. Everything in this burrito was seasoned to the freaking tea. I don't even know why Qdoba even sells burritos because Chipotle's burritos is just way freaking better. There's no denying that Chipotle's burritos are better than Qdoba's. So Qdoba, I, I gotta give you a four on that because your meat just won't it. And Chipotle, I'm gonna give you a 10 on this because your meat was it. Matter of fact, it was more than it. It was amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the taste test is finally over, and I gotta say, I am glad. Y'all, I am so tired. I literally had to take about three sh** while filming this video. So let me know how I did in the comments below, will ya? So before I get into the winner of the taste test of 2022, I do wanna highlight a few differences. Today at Chipotle, I spent $63.70, but at Qdoba, I spent $69.75. Not that big of a difference. Qdoba has more menu items than Chipotle, including desserts, but Chipotle has more drink items than Qdoba. If I'll let you guys know that, it's a fun fact, but it's kinda weird. This year's 2022 official taste test, Chipotle vs Qdoba, goes to Chipotle. I mean, it is by far. Everything about Chipotle was great. The food was great. The presentation was great. Price was a little bit cheaper. I feel like I got my money's worth. Qdo, on the other hand, I Qdo was just not my thing. Today was my first time trying Qdoba, and I gotta say, I really wasn't impressed. It's just like the quality of food just isn't there. You feel what I'm saying? But I do encourage you guys to go try Qdoba out. It is definitely a big chain and everybody else seems to like it. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. It's just, I just wasn't impressed. Anyway, whether you're a Chipotle fan or Qdoba fan, drop in the comments below what you prefer. And also let me know of other taste tests that you guys want me to try. Cause I'll try anything you want. Just let me know, all right? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I'm gonna see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace.